Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, coming to you from Beckley's Camping Center today to show you the brand new 2021 Micro Mini. This is a 2225RL, quite the unique floor plan, keeping the length under 26 foot. For more information on this camper, be sure if you call Beckley's, if you email or if you stop by, you do ask for Paul, the Air Force guy, so I can take care of you on this one or any other RVs. All the specifications and pricing for this unit will be down below the video. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share the video. So let's get on to this camper. Now, the first thing you're gonna notice when you're looking at the front is you're gonna notice this molded fiberglass cap here with the rock guard down below. Now also, with this, they don't come, it does come with two 20-pound LP tanks, but what they're doing is they're giving you the larger cover for those of you that may want to upgrade to those 30-pound tanks. And so another change for the 2021, this is kind of a mid-year change. They've changed the cabinet colors on the inside, as well as giving you some other features, and let me go over those for you. Just give you a little bit closer look to this molded fiberglass cap you have here the rock guard. Now there will be also access, you'll actually have the opportunity to put up to two batteries up in the front tongue here. Of course that's going to be limited by the vehicle that you're towing with. As I mentioned, overall length on this is under 26 feet. I told you about the power tongue jack and it has a nice little light right here so that way there if it's at night you're hooking up you'll be able to see where you are when you're backing up onto it. Now down the door side, the off door side, this is where you're going to have all your hookups and everything. And they do a nice job doing this here, as you can see. You've got your city water connection right here, your black tank rinse, outside shower that's going to be hot and cold, your electrical connection, and then cable or satellite hookup. And then of course right down below here, this is where you're going to have your sewer dump. Notice how it's, it's not really close to the ground. That's giving you great clearance. It is for the of the axles. Now you're also going to notice that they're using the uh, off-road tires so it's giving you a little more aggressive tread and then look at the ground clearance you have. Now this does sit up very high. Well, it gives you good ground clearance and they're using the torsion axles. The benefit of the torsion axle for you is the fact that they're it's kind of like an independent suspension. So when you're going over potholes and so forth, one tire is not going to affect the other side. So on, on the axle, they're independently, um, they have independent suspension basically, unlike the uh, axles that have the leaf springs. Now when you're looking in the storage area, nice long door, and notice how it's magnetically held in place so you're not having to use your head to hold that up. This again, the off-door side. So you do have the battery disconnect. Benefit to you there, and it's nice, easily accessible here, is that way you can shut your battery off when you're not using it. Now take a look at all this storage you have inside under here. Tons of storage. This is under the bed. You do have lighting down here, and then of course your solar controller is on the other side. This is a 30 amp, 110 coach. Now you do have access to this from the inside. There's a little door there right in front of that box so you can access part of this uh, compartment here. I guess the other thing you could do is if, if you lock your keys in, it makes it very easy for you to get into your camper, assuming it fit through this opening as well as the door under the bed. So look at your door side. You see you have a nice good size awning the, the, and the back door is set in a little bit. Well, I said the awning is giving you more coverage of that back door. So, you know, some campers, they have that awning right at the door, and that limits you from opening the door all the way, or if it's raining uh, a certain, at an angle or whatever, the rain is coming in. So that's a nice little setup there. Now, one of the new features you're gonna see on here is the fact that you're gonna have electric stabilizers. Now, they're independently controlled as well. Now, you might say, well, Paul, what happens if the motor breaks? Well, not a problem. You see how they, it is set up. It looks like a manual jack. However, just push the button and that will control your jacks. Or I say your stabilizers. Don't confuse these with levelers. They are only stabilizers. Staying right down here also, you're gonna notice 
your quick connect for the LP. That way there for those of you that cook outside on a RV grill or Blackstone griddle, you have access to it right here. And I, I personally use one of these myself and I just have a LP line that's like 16 feet. And that way there I have flexibility on where I put my Blackstone griddle. So the awning is going to have the LED light strip. You have your outside stereo speakers. I like the fact the way that they have this uh, vent for your overside of your over top of your cooktop, because that way there it keeps critters from getting in there. Less likely to have critters getting in there, I should say. And then access, if you wanted to, they have the backer location for an outside TV, along with the 110 outlet that you would need to power it, and your cable connection, which also would take care of it if it was on satellite and or the antenna. And then of course, lastly here, this is for your freshwater fill, for your freshwater tank if you're gonna be carrying water uh, with you. So with the freshwater fill right here, then located basically in this area under here is gonna be your, your dump. And you can see it back forward of the last axle there. And it just has a little twist knob on it. And that is what's gonna empty your freshwater tank. So it makes it very easy for you. Well, I should say easy, but. So I showed you up front where you had the stabilizer, the electric switch for them, and it's right here. Again, both on the door side, making it easier for you to get to them. And then you're able to watch them as they're going down since they're independently controlled. Moving around to the back here, as you can see we have spare tire with a cover. You do have the ladder to get on the roof, the bumper, Although you could use it for putting your sewer hose in and it would actually have a cap on here. I'd highly recommend you figure out some way of securing that cap. So as you're going down the road, the cap doesn't fall off and then you're gonna be losing your sewer hose as you roll down the road. Now right above the window there, up at the top there, this thing is wired and framed for the Voyager rear observation camera. So it's basically a plug and play. Now since you have a dinette booth on the back here, you do have an additional storage that you can get to from outside. You can access from the inside also by removing the seat, uh, the seat there. But it makes it nice. I tell you, you don't know how convenient that is to have a storage area front and back of the camper on the off-door side. You, you can't imagine the amount of items that you need to store and have accessibility to them while you're camping. Now, looking at the roof here, it is a walkable roof. The material up here, it's a TPO. Uh, Thermopolyorphan is the, is the actual name of it. I liken it to more of a cross, uh, more of a, um, of a vinyl type, cross polymer type vinyl, if you will. You're not gonna get the chalking like you do with a rubber roof and you don't have to treat it. Although you do need to get up here, make sure you clean it, check and reseal as needed. Now you're gonna notice they already have it set up with you for the 100 watt flexible go power solar panel here. It's already set up for you, so that'll trickle charge your battery, allowing you to extend your boondocking capabilities. You have your King digital TV antenna, so you're able to pick up local channels. And of course, you have two different vents in here, one over the, over the uh, bedroom, and then you'll have a little power vent fan over in the bathroom with the skylight over top of the shower. This antenna right here, this is for your stereo. Just in case you were wondering what that was for. And then of course, you have your, these are your vent tubes for your tanks, your gray and the black tank. Those are right there. Now, you don't need to have this roof you know, or, or use this roof just to come up and check for, and clean and so forth. You can actually come up here and hang out. As you can see, there's room for you to hang out up here if you want to sunbathe, whatever, or even take in the scenery. Look at how gorgeous it is. The sights that you can take in. Something you're going to like about this door is the fact that you have this blackout shade that is already built in. And then of course you have the window for the daytime when you want to see out or have that additional light coming in. All right, let's, so, let's get inside and take a look at this bad boy. 
take a look and see what you think. Coming in the door here, so this is to the rear. And then looking towards the front. Now, keep in mind that this is only a seven foot wide camper. So things are gonna be a little bit uh, less roomy as the eight foot wide, but still very user friendly. What are you thinking about the new cabinet colors and the styles? So in this first cabinet right here, as you come in the door, as you can see, this is kind of like your pantry area. Good deep shelves. But then of course you have your controls in here for your slide out. This does have a tank heater on it, helping you extend your camping capabilities into colder weather. And of course your controls for your water heater, water pump, it's for your checking your levels. You're gonna have your light switches inside and out, and then of course your awning control. All right there, conveniently located. And nice thing is it's up high out of the way, that way there if you have your grandkids with you, they're not gonna be able to mess with them. Well, hopefully anyway. So for your entertainment purposes, you have your AM FM CD stereo with a DVD player. Also do have a uh, USB and a, um, aux plug there. Good size TV. And that does swivel. And then this is for, uh, for charging your phone. Nice little area there, wireless charging. And then of course you have your thermostat. Now I'll put a video down below on how to operate that because a lot of people uh, misunderstand how to use this. Very uh, touch sensitive, so do take, take a look at that video. You'll be glad you did. So you'll, are you liking the lighter cabinets that are in here? Of course, I know it's kind of a little different. So these are different, as you can see, these cabinets in the kitchen here, they're a little bit different. As you can see, it's like a two-tone cabinetry in here. So as you come into your kitchen area, they get a little bit lighter. What do you think of that, that little subtle change? Looking at your dinette booth in the back, now this also does break down to a bed. And the bed, you're looking at 32 inches wide by about 75, 76 inches in length. The table is nice and easy to fold down. All you do is you pull this little lever to unlock it and then it just pushes down. You need to get the cushions out of the way and the table's gonna set right in this area on both sides of the dinette. And then your other cushions come to the middle to complete the bed. Staying with the dinette, now remember I showed you outside, you had access on this side. Now if I wanna access it from the inside, I gotta remove the cushions. But on this side, what they did they went ahead and put a door on the inside. Now the reason why you didn't have a door on the outside was because of, as you can see, the little cutout right in there. That is where you have your controls for your rear stabilizers. Nice little coat hangers as you come in the door. And there you can see what that blackout shade does for you. Now all the windows do have the pull down shades as well. And that's what it would look like. It's, you know, privacy curtain doesn't cut out all of the light though. So if you still wanted to have a little bit of light for the daytime, that would allow you to do so. Now you also have a, a tri-fold sofa that's in the slide out. Nice thing with this, even with the slide out in, you can utilize the whole camper, except for the TV. But you can still utilize the camper. You wouldn't be able to open this thing to a bed, but let me show you what this looks like as a bed. You're gonna like how easy it is to pull this trifold bed out. That's about six feet by 58 inches. So 72 by 58. But you can, as you can see, it has little rollers down there. All you're doing is pulling on this handle, these handles right up front here, and it rolls right out for you. A little bit different than most of the other trifold sofas. I think this one's a lot easier. Much easier for you to put away as well. All you're gonna do is pull towards the middle here pull this middle section and you have a little bar back in here you're pulling that while you push on the front and it, do, it just rolls right back in place you're going to like all the windows that you have up in the back area here you got three across the back and all of them can open for windows for uh, cross ventilation as well an escape window here that's still being able to use for ventilation 
LED lights in the, in the roof and individually controlled so you can turn on or turn off the ones that you do not want on. And of course your ducted air conditioning, which I think is an important feature to have, even though this is just short camper. And of course, what would a camper be without a refrigerator freezer? Good size refrigerator freezer. And you know, to me, it doesn't matter what size I have. I could have a six cubic foot, eight, 10, 12, 18. I still have coolers with me to help keep things cold. It makes it a little bit easier when I'm outside having things in coolers anyway. As you see, you're gonna get the convection microwave. And because of that, you're not gonna have an oven, but that gives you extra drawer space. But of course you do have, as you can see, you have your three burner cooktop here. Taking a look here, good size, deep pots and pans drawers. Now I know some people look at this uh, handle right here, that's right here, and they wonder what that is. That is so you can hand, uh, hang some hand towels there, very conveniently located. Showing you the additional storage that's up underneath your sink here. Of course you have the nice little cutting boards to cover your sink. Notice it's a nice form sink. Good thing with that, with these covers, because the fact that they're cut in half, you're able to, if you just want to use half of the sink, you're able to do so. Nice high rise faucet that pulls the hand, does pull out for the sprayer and so forth. Makes it more residential feel. Now I think one of the downsides to this one here is the way that the heater is set up here. It only blows right here for the heater. You're not going to get any additional blowing back here in the bedroom area. And then in the bathroom, you'd end up having to leave the door open because you have no heat being blown in here. Although you do have an AC duct, which is very beneficial. So let's just stay in here in the, in the bathroom area. Showing you now, I do like the size showers that they have in here, and the fact that they're using this specially, specially imported Italian marble from Taiwan. You need to check that out when you come in and check out one of these micro minis. I think you'll enjoy it. Now, something I see on Facebook a lot of times is down here. You can see how there's no sealant. It's not sealed down here from where the tub, tub base is and the sidewalls. Keep in mind the tub basin, it actually lifts up a few inches and then the walls are down over it. In the event that you went ahead and sealed here, what's gonna happen over time, this stuff is gonna flex and move as you tow down the road and then it's gonna create a mess for you. A lot easier to clean that versus having sealant in there. Just show you the rest of the shower. Some nice little cubbies for you to put things. And I had mentioned about that skylight. Now for those of you that are concerned maybe with the height in there, you have about 68 inches to the ceiling, but then you have six feet up for headspace up in the skylight area itself. And I like the way that they have the shower curtain because it's actually magnetically held in place. And notice how it's curved at the top. I actually camp in a micro mini, and I'll tell you, the shower is definitely large enough. Now you're gonna notice that it does have a good sized mirror there. And the nice thing with the mirror, it's, it's rather large. I know some campers tend to forget about people's height and makes they typically put a smaller mirror in there and maybe it's up a little bit too high for some of us that are height deprived. As I mentioned, you have the, the power vent fan in here. Nice thing with this power vent fan versus a fantastic fan, you don't have to open a window to actually utilize it. Nice little corner cabinet for your medicine and so forth. Good size corner cabin. Towel ho tire holder there. And plenty of room in, in front of your toilet with additional storage under the sink. So this is the bathroom. One last thing was the actual towel holder or robe holder that is on the door for the bathroom. So next, we're going into the bedroom area. Now this bed is more like a double. It's like 54 inches wide by 
you're actually going to have almost seven feet of room in here. So for someone that's tall, I think you're going to have plenty of room. You have a nice little push button light there. Remember there was storage down below. One thing I don't like about these cabinets is they're not holding themselves up, but you do have, that's all open storage above the bed, and then windows on both sides. Now, even though that's an emergency window, you can still utilize it for airflow. Now, back in the corner there, you do have USB ports, and then over you have a little, uh, little nightstand right here with a 110 outlet, little drawer down below it, little cubby down below that, and then you're gonna have this area here For storing clothes. So you have the hanger up top there and then another hanger here if you wish. So that's two of those cubbies. Now just let you see what the ceiling looks like here in the bedroom. I told you about the, the vent that's right there. You could always upgrade that to a power vent fan if you wanted to. You have your AC duct and three LED lights in here. Looking towards the back, giving you one last view. What are you thinking of the changes and what are you thinking of this floor plan? So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, 2021 Winnebago. This is the Micro Mini 2225RL. Be sure you ask for me if you stop by Beckley's Camping Center, if you call or email. But uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and share it. And uh, hope to see you again sometime soon. By, by the way, in the event you have any questions on this or something else, by, by all means, put a question down below the video, and I will try and get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you very much, and I'll come back at you again soon. Take care.